What's up guys, it's Sammy Cheese here, back with another video, and on today's video, I'll be showing guys how to make Minecraft in Scratch 3.0. Now this is part 2 of a 2 part series, so if you missed part 1, it is in the top right corner of your screen. Anyways, let's get started. So there are a few errors in the movement script. So this one key W pressed to change X by negative 16 should be one key A pressed to change X by negative 16. And this script, one key W pressed to change X by 16, should be one key D pressed change x by 16. So it should look like this. W block goes up, D block goes right, S block goes down, and A block goes left. And now that that's done, let's start cleaning the inventory. So go to the inventory sprite and go to events, one green flag clicked, motion, go to x, changes to 5, y, negative 71, and put that on the one green flag click block. And then go into looks and grab a set size to changes to 175% and put it under the go to x, y block and then grab a hide block and put this under the set size block. Then go into variables and grab a set inventory open and put this under the hide block. So it should look like this. Now go back into events and grab a message block. Make a new message, call it inventory close. And then press OK. Then go into looks and grab a hide block and put it on there. And then go back into events and grab a one key space press block but change the space to an E. And then go into control and grab a if then the else loop block and on the top part, go to operators, grab an equals block, and put it inside here. Then, go to variables and grab a inventory open question mark and put this on the left. And on the right, change the 50 to a zero. And then on the inside of the if portion, go to looks, grab a show block, and then go to front layer block and put it inside just like that. Go into variables and grab a set inventory open to one, just like that. And then go into events and grab a broadcast, change message one to make a new message and call it inventory open and then put it under the variable block, so it should be looking like this. And then in the else portion, go back into control and grab a if then loop block and put this inside the else portion of the if then else loop block, just like that. Go into operators, grab a equals block, and go back into variables and grab a inventory open question mark block and put this on the left side of this equals block and on the right side put a one. And then make sure to grab a set inventory open block and put this inside the if then loop block, just like that. Then go into events and grab a broadcast message block and change the message to inventory close and put this under the variable block. And finally, go into looks, grab a hide block and put this inside the if then loop block but put it under this broadcast, just like that. And this sprite is done. Now I'll explain some code. So this sprite is the inventory background. This code is general setup for it. And this is saying when the inventory is supposed to close, it will close. And what this code is saying is if key E press, if inventory open equals zero, which means if it's not open, it will show, go to front layer, and make it open, and it will broadcast that inventory is open. And then if you press E again and the inventory is open, it will just set inventory open to zero, which means it will close, it will broadcast that inventory is closed, and it will hide. And once you're done with this code, go into blocks. And once you're in blocks, go into variables and make a new variable, and call it block number. After that, go into events and grab a when I receive inventory close. Go to looks, grab a show block and put this here. And then go into motion, grab a go to x and y block. Go to variables and grab a last x for go to x and last y for go to the y portion. So like that. Then go into looks and grab a switch costume to. Go into variables and grab a block number block and put this inside here. And then grab a set and change this to inventory open and make sure it's zero. Right now, I'll explain how the inventory works. So when you press E, which is how you open the inventory, every single costume in the block sprite will duplicate itself and show on the inventory. And when you click on it, it will switch to that block. And then after the inventory closes, all the blocks shown in the inventory have to be deleted. The block that you were using to place the blocks has to be put back to where it was before you open up the inventory. I know it's a little confusing, but I'll explain some code so that you can figure it out. So this script is doing part of that. It's saying after the inventory closes, it's going to go to the last X and Y where it was before you open the inventory. Anyway, let's continue coding. Go into my blocks and make a new block. And call this block open inventory. And then press OK. And this block is the main code for the entire inventory. And now let's code it. Go into variables and grab four set blocks and make sure to change one of them to last x and change another one to last y. And then change one more block to 
block number and leave the last one how it is. After that, go into motion, grab an X position block and put this in last X. And also, grab a Y position block and put this in last Y. Then, go into looks and grab two cost and number blocks and put them inside block number and block inventory data. And then, go back into motion and grab a go to XY block and change the X to negative 202 and the Y to 136. And go into looks and grab a go to front layer block and put that there. And then, grab a switch cost and two and change this to stone. And go into control and grab a create clone of myself and put this right here. And after that, go into operators, grab two equals blocks and one or block and put them inside the or block just like that. And go into looks and grab a cost number block and put this on the left side of this equals block and change the value to go into variables, grab a max box block and put this inside the 50. And then on the other side, grab an inventory open block and change the 50 to a zero. And then go into control and grab a repeat until block and put the or block inside of it and drag it onto the open inventory block, just like that. And then grab a if then else block and put this inside here, just like this. And grab a greater than less than block and put it inside the if then else loop. And then go into motion and grab an X position block and put this on the left side of it. And on the right side, put 190. And then grab a set X2 block and change it to negative 202. Grab a change Y by block and change the 10 to negative 20. And then go into looks and grab a next costume block and put this under this. And then go to control, create clone of myself. And put that there. And after that, go back into motion, grab a change X by and make sure this is in the else portion and change the 10 to a 20. And go into looks, grab a next costume block and put this under the change X by 20. Then go to control and grab a create clone of myself block and put that there. And then grab a create clone of myself block and put this under the repeat until block and go to looks, grab a hide block, and then go into control and grab a if then block and put this under the hide block. And go into operators, grab an equals block and put this inside the if then block and change the 50 to a zero. And on the right side, go into variables and grab an inventory open question mark and put that on the left side. And go into events, grab a broadcast and change this to inventory close. And that is the open inventory block coded. And then grab a when I receive, change this to inventory open, go into my blocks and put open inventory, just like that. After that, go into events, grab a when the sprite clicked, go to control, grab an if then block and put that there. And go into operators, grab an equals block and change the right side to a one and change the left side to inventory open question mark, just like that. And then go into looks and grab a switch costume to and go into variables and change it to block inventory data, just like that. And then grab a set and change this to block number to block inventory data. And finally, go to events, grab a broadcast, inventory close. And after that, go into control and grab a when I start as a clone block and put that there. After that, go into variables and grab a set block inventory data and put that on the when I start as a clone. After that, go into looks and grab a cost number block and replace this for the zero, just like that. And after that, go into control and grab a forever loop and an if then block and put it inside there just like that. And then go into operators, grab an equals block and change the 50 to a zero. And put on the left side inventory open question mark just like that. And inside the if then loop, go into control and grab a delete this clone block. And that is the fully functional Minecraft game. And here's how to build stuff. Use WSD to move the block and press space to place it. And to open up the inventory, press E and select the block you want. So if I want bedrock, I'll click on it, I'll go to the bottom of the map, and then I'll place it, and I can just make a straight line of it. And that's it for the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Anyway, peace out.